Winging Rocks Park, Pennsylvania, a geological anomaly in which the rocks make a unique bell sound when struck with a hammer. Ringing Rocks Park is located in southeastern Pennsylvania and is around 90 kilometers north of Philadelphia near a town called Upper Black Eddy near the border of New Jersey. Now if you approach Ringing Rocks Park from the east side, you'll be going up Ringing Rocks Road and sometimes it'll be very easy to miss the sign as you will see here. And sometimes the sign is very hard to see, especially in the summertime. Okay, here we are at the Ring and Rocks Park. This is the parking lot. It's easy to miss. And we have to take the trail that goes right through the forest. About, let's say probably about 500 feet. You gotta watch out for snakes. The distance from the parking lot to the boulder field is about 150 meters. So it takes about anywhere from three to five minutes to get there. Once you get there, you will see an eight acre field of boulders made of olivine diabase, which is actually a volcanic rock that pushed its way through the crust to the surface around 200 million years ago. And when you strike the rocks, lightly with a hammer they will make a distinct bell-like sound now not all rocks will make this sound but a lot of them will what about that white one over there Hold on. That one. well let me try that one Ringing Rocks Park is actually part of an olivine diabase sill of the Newark Basin. There are actually many diabase Ringing Rock boulder fields throughout southeastern Pennsylvania and New Jersey. However, the majority of them are on private property or have been destroyed by urban development. But the most popular and commonly known Ringing Rock boulder field is Ringing Rocks Park, Pennsylvania. The Ringing Rocks Boulder Field are volcanic olivine diabase that formed under high pressure and erupted over 200 million years ago. Scientists aren't entirely sure what causes the ringing bell sound of the rocks, but the composition, position on the slope, density, size, and the rock placement may be contributing factors. The rocks are known as lithophonic or sonorous rocks. Now only a third of the rocks actually make the ringing sound even though they are all made of olivine diabase. If they make no ringing sound, they're called dead rocks. If they make a ringing sound, they're called live rocks. Now, believe it or not, if a live rock that makes the distinct bell-like sound is removed from the boulder field, it will lose its ringing sound. Now, this is the cross section of the ringing rock boulder field. And as you can see, it's actually on a 25 degree incline. Now, this may be a contributing factor to why the rocks make a distinct ringing sound, but nobody knows for sure. Now enjoy the rest of the tour. Ah. 
Well, that one's got a nice ring to it. Yeah. Like, that, one's a, that one sounded like a bell. Yep, that one's a dud. Yep, that's definitely got a bell sound.